Welcome back to another video presentation. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about how to deal with people, you know, your family or friends not supporting your dreams and not supporting your goals and saying that it's, you know, it's miscellaneous. They might say, oh, you can never achieve that. You know, they might laugh at you because they think it's stupid. They might think it's too hard for them, so they place their insecurities on you. They place their limitations on you. This is stuff that you're going to deal with when you're on the road to success, when you're doing things that's not normalized. Because if you went up to your parents and friends said and said, oh, I want a different job, I'm going to get me a better paying job, they'll be all on board with you because that's what's normalized. When you're doing things that other people are not doing, when you're chasing something that is greater, when you're chasing, you know, when you're reaching for the stars, of course, people are going to, you know, think that it's insurmountable people because they, they haven't reached for the stars. They haven't reached the stars in their life. They don't know what it feels like to have 100000 in their bank account. They don't know what it feels like to drive a Porsche um, Panamera. They don't know what it feels like to drive a Bentley. They don't know what it feels like to have that lifestyle where you work so damn hard and just achieve, you know, because people's mindset is normalized. You know, they don't take leap of faith. They don't take risks. They don't sacrifice. They don't put in the full time work towards their dreams and bringing out their talents. So this is something that you're going to deal with. This is something that I deal with, but I know it's a part of the journey. And that when you when you deal with stuff like that, you have to use it at, to your advantage. You have to use the anger that you feel inside. Of you. I don't care about being angry because it just makes me want to go harder in the gym. It just makes me want to go harder and upload more videos. It just makes me want to go harder and harder and harder. I don't care. Like, I don't care anymore, you know. Because when I look back and I become successful, I'm going to be like, man, I kept going no matter what. I kept going. And that's that makes people break down. That's why people start to cry when they become successful because all the sacrifice they put in. I know I'm going to be successful one day. And I'm a, I'm a, and when I become successful, I need to make me a video, man, like where I can look back when I reach a certain milestone. I don't really care too much about my subscribers, but once I get monetized and once I start making money on YouTube... I'm going to look back and think about all that time that I put into YouTube because, you know, I've been on YouTube for about a couple of years now and I haven't really put in a lot of time. I always wanted full-time results, but I never put in the full-time results. Now I know what I got to do. Now I see my vision. Now I know what I really got to do. Now I know what it really takes. It takes you to just keep going and being persistent every single day, doing things that you know other people are not doing. You got to wake up earlier. You have to put in more work. You have to put in a lot of full-time effort. You have to quit your job eventually. I'm only I'm only working this job to to um use it to buy my equipment and enhance you know my career and propel help propel me forward you know using it as like fuel to help me propel forward that's all I'm not using my job this what I'm doing right now has nothing to do with my job so why would you keep working there for too much longer only work there to, to uh get the equipment get the right things get the right people around you you know pay for a life coach one-on-one -on -one consultations, you need to use that money that you get from that job to fund your career. My job has nothing to do with where I want to be. You know, it's a dead end. I'm working a dead end job right now. I'm, at, I'm 20 years old. I'm young, but still, I'm working a dead end job that has nothing to do with my dreams. Nothing. It has absolutely nothing to do with my dreams. You know, so you got to keep that in your mind, man. Like on the road to success, you're going to have people that doubt you. You're going to have people that want to shoot you down, you know, and just tell you that it's, it's stupid, but you got to use this to your advantage. You have to use it as fuel, you know, you have to use it as, it does not matter what happens around you. You have to keep going. You have to keep going. And I mean it like, I keep telling y'all this, I told y'all this in the past few videos, but you literally have to keep going. It does not matter what, who's saying what. It does not matter what your friends think. It does not matter what your family think. It does not matter what nobody says. You got to keep going, bro. You have to keep going. You have to see your vision all the way through. All the way through. All the way through, 100%. You have to give it all you have. I'm serious, y'all. I mean, you really have to if you really want to be successful. So that's how you deal with it, man. Just understand it's a part of the journey. Understand that there's going to be people that's going to be throwing at you to try to throw you off. I feel like this is the way of the universe and how it's going to test you to see if you're really 
really trying to be make it to that next level. And you know, just find beauty in the journey, man. It's gonna be hard, but you gotta keep going. You can't stop. Thank y'all for watching. More videos coming for y'all very soon. Stay blessed.